Hi, I am Inan a research assistant from Aalto University, Finland, and I'll be presenting you our study, CineAI. CineAI is a procedural cinematography toolset that generates in-game cutscenes by imitating real directors. So in short, it's an AI system that tries to shoot your cutscene just like how Quentin Tarantino would do it, for example. We implemented CineAI in the popular game engine Unity 3D, but our methodology is engine agnostic. You can find our source code on GitHub under the MIT license. So a bit of a background. Cutscenes are an integral part of many video games, but their creation requires deep engagement in cinematography and directing. And while there are AI systems that semi-automate the process, they fail to produce uniformity or what we like to call a human touch. This is the shortcoming we solve with CineAI. By mimicking real directors, we could create less expensive and much more believable cutscenes. Previous work regarding this focused on solving the core challenges of automated cinematography rather than director's style limitation. These challenges can be summarized as camera placement, subject visibility, and shot continuity. Cinea uses common rules of thumb about cinematography derived from the previous works for handling the camera placement. For subject visibility, we develop what we call scene proxies, inspired by the related work about visibility calculations and camera occlusion. And for shot continuity, we mostly rely on our novel storyboarding interface and user co-creation. The innovation of CineAI comes from its ability to target a director and imitate its style. So let's talk about how this is done. CineAI needs a dataset describing a target director's cinematography style in order to imitate it. We contribute an easily extendable open source dataset for two example directors, Quentin Tarantino and Guy Ritchie. In order to create this dataset, we first selected 15 cinematography techniques, such as a dolly zoom or a long shot, and grouped them into four distinct categories depending on how the camera was manipulated. Then we selected 80 different movie clips per director for analysis. Then we analyzed these clips and coded how many times each technique occurs. Each clip was also assessed in terms of dramatization and pace values, relating a scene's atmosphere with a specific technique. Then we trained a logistic regression model to see that our techniques were distinguishing features for our example directors. Given our dataset, this model was able to predict the correct director with 83% accuracy. And after a cleanup into a final format, we had a data table defining techniques and their frequencies ready to be used within CineAI. So let's talk about how this data is used. This is how a user interaction with CineAI looks like. There are three steps required from the user. First, import the dataset. This calculates conditional probabilities of each technique T to occur within the category C. Secondly, define shot markers, points where the user wants to have camera cuts and transitions in their timeline. Shot markers also define dramatization and pace values of the scene at particular points. And lastly, use scene proxies, 3D volumes that delimit the area in which the cutscene takes place, to let CineAI collect collision information from the scene's geometry. Afterwards, users can hit the Generate button, and CineAI starts selecting a cinematography technique for each shot marker. During this process, all techniques go through various filters according to the current scene setup. Random sampling is also involved in order to provide variation on different simulations. The selected technique will be validated by checking the camera view against subject visibility and collisions. The final step is to display the selected technique for which the storyboards are used. So, storyboards are novel interactive interfaces used to manage shot generation, fine tuning, and viewing the results. Each generated shot is immediately visualized as an individual note with a preview in a sequential order. This allows controls for resimulating single or multiple shots or locking the shots the user liked. Users can tweak markers and simulation properties, keep generating new shots until they are satisfied with the results. All this happens on design time on editor, providing extremely quick iteration times. So, before getting to our user studies, let's check out some demo cutscenes generated with CineAI. Here we can see two versions of the same scene using Richie and Tarantino datasets respectively. Initially, we would only see minor differences in camera placement and angles, which the randomization inside CineAI can account for. However, later on, we can see some signature techniques from both directors being employed. For instance, on the left, on the Guy Ritchie scene, we can see motion stabilization technique, or a steadicam technique, that became one of Guy Ritchie's signature moves. This shot is very similar to his work in the movie Rock and Roller. But on the Tarantino side, we can see God's eye view technique being utilized, capturing an overhead angle of the subject, a technique that Tarantino frequently uses. Additionally, we can also observe other techniques such as a dolly zoom or a close zoom. 
Now we're going to be seeing a different cutscene. Uh, this time it's going to be four variations of the same cutscene and all using the same Quentin Tarantino dataset. This shows how easy it is to create variations with CineAI for quick iteration and feedback. Alright, so it's time for our experiments now. So let's talk about it. In our first experiment, we probe how accurately can CineAI imitate a target director. To do this, we prepared 8 different cutscenes and asked 18 participants to watch them and decide which director they think they were based on. Our null hypothesis was that the participants associate the cutscenes with one of the directors by random chance. This means that the cutscenes generated by CineAI cannot imitate our target directors in a way that our participants could differentiate. Rejecting this hypothesis would mean that CineAI successfully generates cutscenes that are distinguishable by the director's styles given our dataset. We tested this by two measures of inter-rate reliability, Flace kappa and intra-class correlation analysis. Both tests yielded that the null hypothesis should be rejected with 95% confidence interval. This means that CineAI can produce cutscenes that people can associate with a certain director correctly and beyond random chance given our datasets. On our second experiment, we asked how does CineAI perform in terms of usability. We measured this by asking 12 participants to use CineAI and generate a cutscene, given a demo game level. We used concurrent think aloud method, system usability scale, and a semi-structure interview to gain qualitative insights. CineAI received a mean SUS score of 74%, indicating an above-average usability. Our participants pointed out minor areas of improvement as detailed in our paper. Alright, lastly, discussion and feature work. It's important to note CineAI's applications in the games industry. CineAI can be used as a cinematography and composition baseline for the independent developers without any specialized expertise in cinematography. And for AAA developers, well, they are still very likely to use production teams due to their complexity and the size of their cutscenes, but they can utilize CineAI to automate the prototyping and ideation phases of their plans. That being said, in the future work, we most importantly see room for improvement in director style limitation, to employ also VFX and audio into our style descriptions, better assessing CineAI's fidelity by including more directors, usability improvements based on the feedback from our experiments, and better automation in runtime, specific runtime collision detection. So this concludes CineAI. We presenting you our system, methodology, experiments, and results. Any other details and further discussion can be found in our paper. Thank you.